Hey everybody, welcome to my review of the Reveltech Captain America. This is the reissue of the Captain America Marvel Now suit that they did. I just want to say before I begin my review that the Marvel Now version of Captain America is my favorite modern Captain America suit. It's actually one of my favorite Captain America suits in general. I think it does a really good job at updating that classic costume into something newer. Um, I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get to see a whole lot of it in the comics once the Marvel Now kind of era ended we just went back to the classic captain america suit the other one i really like is the winter soldier like agent rogers suit that's a really good one but uh, this one has always been my favorite so i don't think that we've ever really gotten that perfect um six inch scale marvel now captain america suit and i doubt that we'll ever get one again because it's just not uh, the most popular rendition of the suit so i think what we have now is probably it and this is one of them, and I wanted to check this out. I've gone back and forth on this figure for a long time because this is a reissue, and he looks a little too bulky for me personally um, for Captain America, but, you know, I figured since I really like the Amazing Yamaguchi line and this was getting a reissue, I thought, why not? Might as well pick it up and see how it is because uh, Captain America Marvel now that I have is not the best, so let's get into it. Um, first off, let's go with, start with the accessories, like always. So let me just kind of put him back there. And we get this Steve Rogers head. We'll do a zoom in here so that way you, know, you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I really like this Steve Rogers head. It's, uh, it's got a very marvel versus capcom look to it that's one of the reasons that that's one of the things that attracted me to this one it's very marvel versus capcom like um we get some extra hands we have like these throwing hands and then we have uh the saluting hand and we also have the pointing hand that i like to use and then a gripping one he comes with these really cool accessories which attach to the shield um, i'll show you some of those in, in some pictures but it's like bullets ricocheting off which is really cool um he's also got a couple more hands he's got another gripping hand for the other side so you can put the shield on either side and a fisted hand um, this one looks like it's got a peg in it so i don't know if he can carry a gun or 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 something and then he's got this other uh, face here that could swap out with the other one up there with the helmet and you can even move the eyes on this guy which is you know I think is really cool I think more figures need to do that and it even comes with a little tool um, it looks like it's got a little bit of a stress mark on it though so I don't want to mess with it too much but you can kind of position the eyes to look different ways which I think is pretty cool um, it might be a little bit stiff I, I really I these are so fragile, you got to be really careful with this. Oops. Yeah. So we'll just leave that alone right now and just kind of get going on the figure. But, yeah, there's that. And you also get the basic, like, uh, Amazing Yamaguchi stands and whatnot and some other, like, extra joints in case you break one because, trust me, you're going to need them with this figure. They, uh, It's pretty fragile so let's pan up here and look at the sculpt for captain america so um this is one of this is like not too too early in the line but like later enough in the line it was late enough in the line that you can actually vanilla pose this guy and he looks you know quite normal which i really like um you know, I, I that's what kind of kept me away from this line for a little while was just that you couldn't really vanilla pose these guys. And I still want to be able to vanilla pose them while uh, and have them look semi normal with my other lines. And I think that they've gotten a lot better at that. And with that new Batman Arkham Knight Batman that's gotten announced, I think that it's, you know, even more so. And I it's made me really, really like this line. Um, and as you remember from my Endeavor review from uh uh, my Hero Academia, I really like that figure. So I was looking forward to this guy, but then I remembered he did, he is an older figure. So that comes with a few little problems that I really don't like. Maybe you guys who are more experienced with these figures can help me out with that. But, uh, you know, as far as the sculpt goes, he looks really good. I think the head's a little small. I think that's what kind of throws me off about this figure. But, you know, the details are really good. 
I love the the kind of honeycomb armored look and the helmet whatnot you know the the details it's it's a very cool looking figure and I think the only thing that makes me a little bit you know think he's a little too bulky looking for cap is just that he's got a small head it gives that illusion of mass it's kind of like in those old uh hulk comics where they draw him with a smaller head to make him give him more mass so uh you know but anyway let's get into the articulation because that's where my first problem comes up and that's where I, what i want to get into first um you know cause i, I want to end things on a little bit more of a positive note with this review so let's see here the first thing is this as you can see I, it's kind of I don't know if you can see, it's kind of chewed up in there where I had to reattach this little joint and it's not the same as the Endeavor thing. It's this little tiny ratchet Riveltech joint and I really don't like it because it pops off really easily and it severely hinders the motion that this guy should have. And I've had to really wreck the plastic and everything to get it back in there, you know, and it feels like it's going to break. It's way too small for his shoulders and it really, that's really disappointing. Um, for this figure I'm looking to see if maybe there's a fix online for it or something but so far I haven't found any anything to fix that and it's made me really hesitant to to move this guy too much because again I don't want to cut up the plastic or anything too much trying to use pliers or something to get that reattached um it does come with other um joints and whatnot but I don't know I'll have to see and like I said if there's anything you guys, um, you guys, you know, that can fix that. I'd be, you know, love to know. Maybe there's a different joint or something I can put in there. But, you know, as far as the articulation goes, um, you know, he can do everything that Amazing Yamaguchi figures are known for. He's got great range of articulation and movement. You can move the head wherever you need to. These shoulders are the only thing that really hinders it. And But, you know, you can still get him in some really cool poses, like kind of have him shoulder checking somebody with the shield or something like that. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that in the pictures, but I'm just really afraid to move these joints because I don't want these snapping apart again and, and everything. This one's a little bit loosened up since I messed with it, but this one's still really stiff. And Okay, it's starting to loosen up a little bit. Okay. It loosened up a little bit. Makes me feel a little bit better. Just hopefully, if they ever do another Captain America, they do the joints a little bit more like they did with the newer some of the newer figures. Yeah. I really want to do a Marvel versus Capcom display with this Captain America, though. I think that he'd look really, really good because, you know, you got everything that you need to do some really dynamic poses and fight poses. So, you know, his legs up, down do a full 360 there's a cut up here i'm gonna twist it back though because i don't want to push it too far double jointed um double jointed movement i should say another cut up here at the boot um ball joints at the ankles which you know great movement ankle pivot toe articulation um up here same thing ball joint ball joint in the wrist and then you can swivel and then you got the little joint up here and these are also articulated the shoulder pads and then you have some butterfly joints kind of in here these can kind of move his chest kind of not it's all really stiff so i don't really push it too much because he's a little bit more of a fragile guy oh and the belt kind of moves around too so that helps too with getting him into good poses really good ab crunch looks back head's got a great range of movement it comes off really easily because it's not really on a on a ball joint it's just got more of the regular revel tech joint it's got a little piece in there to kind of hold everything and we'll uh we'll change out his head real quick just so i can, oops <laughs> grab that let's change out his head his face too so that way you guys can see it just kind of pull it down like that and then you just kind of put this guy, is that a scuff? Oh, that's not a scuff on his eye. Put that right there. And then this goes underneath here like that. And then you just kind of, just like that. Yeah, looks good. 
Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say on the articulation for this guy. Um, you know, he's just a little fragile, so I don't really pose him around too much. You know, not like the other figures. I'm going to take this off real quick because I do have an experiment um, that I want to do. This is a head from the uh, Mezco San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Captain America. I think that's what it is. Um, I've uh, When I got him, he was used, so he was pretty beat up. He's missing one of his wings on his head. I have the wing. I just got to figure out how to – I got to glue it back on again. Um, he's got some scuffs on him, so I need to get some model paint and touch up the head a little bit. But um, I was playing around with this before I recorded, and I think this head looks really, really good on this figure. In fact, I think it looks better with this head than it does without it, uh, or it does with the other one. I think that it gives it way more – I think because it's bigger than the other one, it kind of proportions his body a little bit better. And it actually looks matches pretty well, too. I've seen this with a custom head. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a custom head sculpt for this guy and, uh, you know, see if I can put that on and see what the community, what the figure community has for this, you know, or I can just get like another one of him and just kind of put this on there, you know, but yeah. I thought that was a, a cool thing. That's something I wanted to do. And let me get this. So let me put this back on and we'll do my final thought. Or we'll do, let's do size comparison before my final thoughts. So let's get him posed up right here. And we'll zoom out so that way you guys can see everything. Let's get him standing up as straight as possible. Oh, oh, I didn't notice that. Look at this as uh, this rocks right here with the boots. So that gives it a little bit more, you know. You can really, you know, gives you a little bit more options for posing and whatnot. So that's really cool. I like that. And, okay. I think that should be, that should be good. He's kind of a stout figure. He's not too tall, but he's not too short. Um, but that's okay. Okay, so let's first compare him to the SH Figure Arts Hulk. He slumped over a little bit, so let's get him a little bit taller. This is a Thor Ragnarok Hulk. Thor Ragnarok Hulk. Um, it's one of my favorite Hulk figures. I think he's a really good-looking figure. And we'll do the Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch. She's a little dusty. These Both these guys are dusty because they've been up on my shelf for a while. So that's how he compares to a Marvel Legends. He's about the same, same height. I know the camera's at a little bit of a weird angle, so it makes him look shorter, so... Let me see if I can maybe adjust this a little bit so you can see. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. And then we'll bring it down here. Uh, still looks a little off, but anyway. Let's bring this up and kind of down a little bit. These two are about the same height. The camera's just at a different angle. So, uh, like I said, he's kind of a short, stout figure, especially when the amazing Yamaguchi figures tend to be pretty tall. So let's get these two out of the way. Next, we'll do the Mezco Superman Man of Steel edition. Come on, stand up, soups. These two are about the same height. He's a smaller Mezco, as many know. So he, uh, these two actually scale pretty well together. Um, even though they're two different styles, you know, they don't look too bad. Okay, actually he might be a, just a hair taller. And then we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Captain America. I switched out the heads because, uh, you know, his head's uh, little, is all beat up as you've seen. So I have the unmasked head. Um, he works really well as like a good modern Captain America, I think. I, I still really like this figure. I like it better than the other one that they did which was a more modern one. I think this one is a better modern cap, but now they got the classic one coming out, so uh, no shortage of Captain Americas. And last but not least, let's compare him to the Marvel Now, Marvel Legends Captain America. Um, I don't think this is a great figure, you know, even when it came out. It took me a long time to get it. I ended up getting this just because it was used. Um... I think the sculpt is pretty good on it and 
but I, he's just a little undersized to me, even for a Marvel Legends. And I don't know. I don't really like the head sculpt on him too much. So, and you can't switch these ones out. I've tried. It's got a completely different peg. But it's okay. But compared to um, this one, you know, obviously it's, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm getting to the point where I might give this one away and keep this one as my main Marvel Now Captain America. A perfect Marvel Now Captain America figure would be the 12-inch Marvel Legend version that they did. If they just shrank that down to 6-inch scale, um, that would be perfect because I think that's the best-looking one. But, uh, you know, he's an okay figure. It's really, you know, whatever you whatever you think would be best. Um, I'm leaning more towards this one just because of the posability, but the shoulders are scaring me, you know. But I might get a custom head sculpt for him, and I think that would fix a lot of the kind of the awkwardness of the look of him. So for my final thoughts, um, would I recommend him if you can find him at a decent price? Uh, yeah, I would. Um, just be very weary of the shoulders. And like I said, if any of you know any way that I could fix that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, I. Other than that, though, I yeah, I like this figure. I like I said, I'm a fan of the line. I just think that it needs to, you know, you need to be weary of this one that it's not as, as good as a lot of the newer releases, I think. So there's going to be a little, little quirks, like I said. And I think with the custom head sculpt, he's going to look a lot more proportional, um, than he does right now with this little tiny one. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on all my social media, which will be listed below. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Let my mind travel through dimensions. Check this pimping. I'm just trying to find a piece like Olimar.